little bit early, so. Okay, I'd like to call to order the regular okay, business meeting of Community High School Freshman. District 99 on Monday, March 18th. We actually have been in closed session since 6.30. We've already had a roll call and we have a quorum. So we will move right on to standing for the pledge vote. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I should mention that Mr. White was here earlier, but he had another engagement, so that is why I'll be running the meeting this evening. Um, moving on to number four, approval of minutes. Uh, therefore, February 25th, 2013, the regular meeting minutes, February 25th, the closed meeting, March 13th, the special meeting, and another March 13th, closed meeting minutes. Any questions, clarifications? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'd like a motion to approve the minutes as it presented. So moved. Second. Okay, I have a first from Mr. Davenport and, and then Julia seconds. Can have a roll call, please? Mike Davenport? Aye. Julia Beckman? Aye. Nancy Kupka? Aye. Keith Mattoon? Aye. Terry Pavisich? Aye. Deb Boyle? Aye. And the minutes are approved. Next on our list is the reception of visitors. This is a time when uh, any uh, community member can approach the board uh, about anything that is on the list for an agenda item tonight that's going to be voted on. Seeing none, okay. Oh, moving right along. Uh, number six, recommendations and reports of the superintendent. And we'll start with uh, 6A, the strategic plan, 2012-13 district goals report. Dr. McDonald. Thank you, Mrs. Boyle. Uh, as the board is aware, each year the board develops uh, district goals that are based on the strategic plan. And four times a year, there's a report about the district's progress on those goals. This would count as a third quarterly progress report final report will be in July as in, in the form of the uh, state of the district report uh, at the end of the school year uh, this is a lengthy report as the board is aware there's a lot of detail it's not my intent to uh, review all the detail for you tonight I, I do uh, have however highlighted a few things that uh, I believe the staff uh, administration have spent a lot of time working on in the past several months uh, one if you Look at your strategic, or excuse me, um, progress report document, uh, goal 1.1B. It talks about the AVID program. AVID is an acronym for Achievement via Individual Determination. Uh, more concrete terms, it's a program to encourage uh, first generation college students or students who've been historically underrepresented in honors and AP courses to take those courses and be successful in them with the goal of eventually matriculating at college. And uh, we had made a goal this year that we would begin the program uh, in the fall of 2013. In fact, we have developed a program. Uh, we've recruited a freshman class, uh, 24 students at South, 19 at North. And we're in the process right now of preparing to start uh, the year with our students and the uh, special curriculum they will have once they enter. So we're very excited about the AVID program. Uh, the board is aware that we've spent a lot of time and energy promoting honors and AP coursework. Uh, we also, uh, within the last several months, have added new courses to our curriculum. Uh, AP Physics Mechanics is one, Honors Accounting is another. Uh, and again, we have very strong enrollment in those courses for first-time courses, so that's a sign that our, our teachers and our counselors mm -hmm. are doing a very good job uh, encouraging our kids to take cor difficult courses, challenging courses, courses they perhaps would not take without that level of support. Additionally, both of our campuses um, have done parent outreach with regard to AP coursework. Uh, each had a parent, AP parent open house. Uh, approximately 400 parents attended each at each school so that's it's very good turnout <coughs> for a program such as that and really pleased with the effort that they're making to put on and reach out to parents in that way uh, another um, highlight would be the stem initiative 
uh, that we've talked about is, is a very important um, program of the future, encouraging students to get involved in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics careers. Each school, each campus will have a Project Lead the Way program in this fall, and again, uh, we have very strong enrollment. Uh, 74 students at South High will enroll in this course, and 62 at North High will enroll in this course, so we're very pleased, not just with the new coursework, um, but also in the enrollment we are having into those courses. Uh, facilities has been a major uh, focus of the board for the last several years. We have one more facet to the master site plan, the fence uh, adjacent <laughs> to the North High parking lot. Mm -hmm. We had a unanimous support for the plan commission for a fence, and we're going to the village council on April 2nd, hopefully to get more support for our fence. <laughs> so we'll keep, in, we'll keep you in touch with that. And then finally, um, one of our initiatives in uh, Area 4 of the Strategic Plan, Resources, Personnel, Staff Development, and Finances. Been very interested for several years in, in starting up a, um, a program to encourage our faculty to seek national board certification. It's a very rigorous certification program. Takes, I think, approximately two years to complete. Very intensive, but also a very uh, high-level credential. So we have, in fact, uh, advertised this program. We have 12 staff members who've made a commitment to participate in the process beginning of the fall. And since we have approximately seven National Board Certified Teachers in the district at this point, 12 is quite an increase. So That's great. we are pleased with our, our progress in that. And I think that will cover the strategic plan report unless you have questions. Questions? Uh, I just, a little commentary. Um, particularly with regards to the AVID and um, our honors and AP classes. And, uh, from time to time we hear about how we're not doing enough for those kids in the middle. And I think those both these things really, really hit home with, uh, with, that, with that issue. Um, uh, AVID, AVID program is not for, you know, we're not talking about underachieving students there. We're talking about, about students that, um, that otherwise traditionally might not have looked towards a college career, and, and this is a way to, to help move them in that, that regard. And, and the AVID program's been around for several years, and um, uh, nationally, I know, and something that we're doing now. And then, and then when we look at the number of uh, uh, AP and honors students, a lot of, a lot of those uh, students now are students in the middle, so to speak, that in the past might not have been, been taking those honors courses and those AP courses, and so this is really, I think uh, a cause for great celebration and appreciation mm -hmm. for our success there going forward. So thank you. Thank you. Um, in 6B, Freedom of Information Requests. Thank you, Mrs. Boyle. We had a single Freedom of Information request this past month, and that request was fulfilled in a letter from Mr. Stalen to the individual. Thank you. All right, we'll move on to item number seven, which is the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Oh, go so ahead, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do math. <laughs> I got it. Julia, but, uh, Ms. Beckman uh, made the motion, and uh, Ms. Pavisich second. Um, any questions? Mrs. Boyle, I'm going to uh, recuse myself from the vote. I know some of the teachers from, that are up for tenure. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Any other questions and, or comments? Then I'll have a roll call then, please. Julia Beckman. Aye. Terry Papasich. Aye. Mike Davenport. Aye. Keith Mattoon. Aye. Deb Boyle. Aye. Okay, the consent agenda passes. Number eight, recommendations for action. Uh, this is a resolution authorizing notice of dismissal to non-tenure teachers other than final year probationary teachers. Dr. Jones, do you have anything you would like to say? The board is aware we, we reviewed uh, this list uh, of uh, personnel at our Wednesday meet, workshop meeting last week. Uh, these are primarily people for whom work for us part-time. And um, we are dismissing them at this point because we are not aware that we have a position for them or the position we may have for them in the future may be different than is currently. However, uh, this is a sort of a legal practice we're obligated to do. Uh, however, in many cases, we will hire these people back to work 
once we're absolutely certain what our staffing needs are going to be. Thank you. Okay, with that being said, do, do I have a motion to approve the resolution authorizing notice of dismissal to non-tenured teachers other than final year probationary teachers? I'll make that motion. Okay. Mr. Davenport moves. Second. And Member Kupka seconds. <clears throat> Can I have a roll call, please? Mike Davenport. Aye. Nancy Kupka. Aye. Keith Mattoon. Aye. Terry Pavisich. Aye. Julia Beckman. Aye. Deb Boyle. Aye. Okay, that, that action item is uh, approved. And we're moving right along here to old business. <laughs> we're already at number nine. Mm. This is a policy <laughs> committee report, and uh, Dr. Kupka is on the policy committee. And this is the second reading, so. Right. We have um, eight policies here for second reading. Mm -hmm. We are withdrawing one tonight, 5.170 copyrights, and issues come up that we have not had time to investigate. Mm. Um, but other than that, barring any questions or from the members, we are ready to go forward with approval from second reading. Okay. okay. And once okay. again, I'm sorry. That's okay. Do we, do once we again, these were policies that we you're using the recommendations of the IESB. IESB. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With some minor what would we do without them? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I would like to move that we approve policies 5.120, 5.130, 5.190, 5.230, 5.250, 5.260, and 5.2. I'll second the motion. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. And can we have a roll call, please? Nancy Kupka? Aye. Mike Davenport? Aye. Keith Mattoon? Aye. Terry Pavsich? Aye. Julia Beckman? Aye. Deb Boyle? Aye. So those uh, policies have been approved. Moving on to number 10, uh, policy committee again. These are, we should have uh, some policies for their first reading. Yes, uh, thank you, Ms. Boyle. Again, we have 12 policies here for first reading. Again, they, these have all been, um, May, uh, changes have been made based on recommendations of IASB with the exception of 7.30, which we tried to make more um, reader friendly. <laughs> I think there's nine, Wait. nine policies. I see the first system. reading? The first yes. Reading? There are nine policies, that's I'm correct. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, what's the one that you said was the yeah, exception? Yeah, I, I missed that one. Um, no, there's 12. Listed on oh, you know what? Oh, I'm so sorry. What? I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> don't we don't do take that. those off. <laughs> <seven. laughs> she said 7.30. Yeah, I'm going, what am I going to say? Hmm. <laughs> 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 that was a, I don't see 5.3. <laughs> That's a, a, a look into the future. The one that uh, we have changes on is not up for no. uh, second reading. <laughs> 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 well, these were all first, these were all first, first readings. Anyway, and there were nine policies, and we certainly do have time. Uh, to get back to uh, Dr. Kupka and uh, uh, Bill White uh, with any mm -hmm. questions or concerns that, that we have. So they'll come up next time. Thank you for all your, for your work. They do a okay. lot, don't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, then we are on our second reception of visitors, and this is a time when audience mm -hmm. members can address the board on any topic pertaining to Community High School District 99. Would anybody like to speak to the board? easy audience tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we move right to communications and announcements, and we'll start with a LEND report. Uh, Member Mitchell. Thank you. Uh, we'll be having a LEND meeting this Friday, and uh, I would encourage uh, board members to take a look at their uh, weekend communications uh, from the superintendent. Uh, there'll be some issues that will be discussed that will probably um, um, would intrigue your attention. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a report meeting on SASID, Member Beckman? Meeting Wednesday night. So the, we have not had a meeting lately, but I know we are headed into negotiations with our uh, certified staff. And uh, also, I believe I may have reported last month, but just in case I didn't, I did do, uh, attend the open house for the tra their transition house, which they had just remodeled and rehabbed, which took months. And it is in a rented space in an industrial area in Westmont, but it's and it, quite a bit of money went into rehabbing it, because, but it's quite adequate, I think, for the future, and there is room to expand because their transition program is growing at least as rapidly as, as uh, District 99's. So should have more to report, and I will just wanted to say that I will be unable to attend this meeting, the Wednesday meeting, so I've asked uh, Ms. Pavisich to cover it in my absence. 
that's what we'll be reporting. She can report next month, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then we'll, we'll go right to Member Pavisich then on a report of the District 99 Education Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still uh, uh, working on our um, uh, fall uh, fundraiser or uh, get together with our alumni. And uh, we have set a date for a um, uh, Burger Wars, I guess, is going to be uh, April uh, 14th and 15th, or is it 15th and 16th? I didn't write it down. But uh, in April. So awesome. I'll Burger get back wars to you. Instead of pizza wars. <laughs> well, we're going to have Pizza Wars in the, in the January. But uh, this is for the same thing that we had in the fall. We had a burger war. Oh, it's between right. North and North South, and South. Mm -hmm. at Tom and Eddie's. And um, thank you, Dr. McDonald. Um, and uh, uh, they're going to design a burger, and it will be votes by purchase on who gets who wins the burger wins wars. Cute so. idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so it should be a nice skip affair. Over. Anybody, anybody else have any announcements that they would like to make? Bring forth? Nothing? Right. Okay. Well, then <laughs> I'll just say that we have a couple of uh, upcoming board meetings. The next one is April 8th, 2013, which is our special meeting and workshop, which will be at 7 o'clock p.m. at South High School. And then on April 15th, uh, our regular business meeting, which will be at 7.30 right here in the administrative building. Um, and that is all we have for this evening. So I'd like to make, uh, have somebody make a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Anyone opposed? All right. Well, this meeting is now adjourned. <laughs>